Hi everybody, my name is Naomi, aka Nifty Nomi, and I have a question for you. Is your CRA payroll source deduction payment that you made and entered into QuickBooks not showing up to be matched on your bank feed? Super annoying, right? Let me show you what's happening and uh, some ways to kind of fix it. So here is my fake company data and we're gonna go over to taxes, uh, payroll tax. We're gonna pay this January one early because it's fake. So it's just to illustrate what's going on. And look at that bank account. I wanna pay this out of my savings account QuickBooks. You saw me, you all saw me do this, right? And then record and print like QuickBooks. Nobody prints checks for CRA anymore. Just saying. Um, record payment. There we go. And by the way, if we hit view here, this is where you can find the gross payroll and the number of employees um, for if you're paying with this, you know, CRA rep client or whatever asks those questions. Now let's go back to this bank feed, right? This is the typical thing. You're like, hold on, it's not matching. Why isn't it matching? Did I even put it in? Here's another annoying thing with uh, the payroll module with QuickBooks. Look, I love QuickBooks Online, I really do, but their payroll module is like the redheaded stepchild. It just isn't quite there. Um, so for example, 318.01 is what we entered. QuickBooks can't find it. Of course it can't because it's in the payroll module, the thing that I don't really love. Anywho, so let's go over to the um, bank register. You can find that in chart of accounts. And let's go look at the savings account. I go to the account history and here's the bank register. And you can see that that entry for 318 is just not in there. So did QuickBooks even put it in? Yes, it did. Let's show you where. Accounting, chart of accounts. I could have just hit back. I know. Here's Canada Bank checking, right? Account history. There's the payment right there. And we can click on it and edit it, but we can't. We can't edit it. It's a lie. All you get to do is delete it. And how many of you have like thought, did I just select the wrong bank and then delete it and put it in like three or four times just to make sure it wasn't you and it really was QuickBooks acting weird? Because the rest of QuickBooks doesn't act this weird. Just the payroll module. So we're not going to uh, delete it right now. I'm going to show you workaround number one. So workaround number one, and again, it's kind of ugly because we really just want QuickBooks to do what we want it to do, even though it's refusing. So the workaround, this is the quick answer, is you just put in a transfer or a journal entry to say, no, it didn't come out of the Canada Bank, it came out of savings. So we're going to go new. For example, you could do a transfer, I'm going to do a journal entry, same thing. And I'm going to say that the account, you know, make sure it's the date that you put the payment in. Um, we're going to say, no, it didn't come out of Canada Bank, 318.01. And you can even say, QBO does not put in a payroll SD payment in correct account arg, you know. You don't have to say arg. I say arg, arg. And then we're gonna put it into savings instead. Like we're just gonna say it didn't come out of there, came out of there. And then we're gonna go save and close like that. So now you can see that if we were to go, this isn't the reconciliation screen, but if we were to go and reconcile the, the bank for the Canada Bank checking, even though these two things didn't happen, they do cancel each other out and you would have to click the little blue box. Um, there's a little blue circle to say, you know, put this on the bank statement even though you don't see it on the bank feed. Anyway, I can do um, a video on that later on if you want. Just put it in the comments and I'll do a quick little vid. But yeah, so it's in and out. So that resolves the balance in our Canada Bank. And then we go to the chart of accounts again and we look at the savings account. Register here. There, now it's in. Well, it's not, that's my journal entry fix. But you can see that if we go back to banking, now it's there to be matched. Quick reminder, if you're using QuickBooks to do your payroll, never add anything from the bank feed. 
always, well, never add any payroll transactions from the bank feed. You always want to match a payroll transaction because you have to go somewhere else to get it in right, and then you match. So that is the workaround, kind of crappy, but, you know, gets the job done and you move on, it's the quickest answer. Um, hopefully QuickBooks hears me and says, oh yes, this is annoying, I can see that. And they're working on a fix for this bug, but this has been annoying me for almost a year now, so I'm not gonna hold my breath. But there is another way. And in fact, there's a reason to why it's doing this annoying thing. And I wanted to show that, um, but it's a little, I don't wanna say dangerous, but it's, but it's, you know, You'll see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to that tax payment just now and I'm just gonna delete it. We're gonna do it a different way, delete, yes. So the reason that it's putting that tax payment towards Canada Bank checking is because in the preferences we have told QuickBooks that our default payroll account, like the default bank account to use for payroll stuff is Canada Bank checking. Now, we didn't say it probably, it just guessed it, but we can change that and we can fix it. Not that I really suggest doing it, you'll see why, but you can make your own decisions. Um, so here's the accounting preferences. I'll show you how I got there. I went taxes, payroll tax, and um, if you're under filings, you won't see it, but if you're under payments, <laughs> you'll see tax setup. I know, it's kind of buried, right? It's that payroll module, I'll tell you. Um, and then under the preferences here, we're gonna hit accounting. And this is where the, the default bank account for all your payroll transactions is, is seen. And we're gonna just change that to savings. And this isn't true. I pay my fake employees with my fake business out of my main checking account, Canada Bank, but I'm just showing you what's going on here. Savings account, okay. Now that I've changed that to savings account, Okay, now let's see what happens, ha ha ha. Now, if you do use this method, watch the rest of the video because it's gonna, I'm gonna explain why it's dangerous after, okay? So let's go back to payroll taxes. Let's go to pay this, yes, I know I'm soon. And watch this, notice that the default bank account is savings, right? I'm gonna drop that down and just for funsies, I'm gonna say ABC bank account, just for fun. Um, see what happens we know what's gonna happen and then we're gonna not record and print again quickbooks why is that even there record payment all right and now let's go back to that chart of accounts and let's go to abc bank we know what's gonna happen it's not there right let's instead go look at the savings account remember that's the one that we made the default everything goes to this bank for payroll related stuff account history there oh there's my journal entry so i'm going to quickly delete it ha 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 right sorry that was that was that was the first half of the, the tutorial whatever um there is that tax payment we can click on it and we can go into it and again it doesn't say what bank it's out of we can't actually edit we can only delete but we don't want to delete we're happy we want it out of there because remember if i go to my bank feed you know ah i found the tax payment that's what y'all wanted me to do from the beginning right make it so that you don't have to do the stupid journal entries why am i not suggesting this way off the top and i'll tell you why because in my fake business i pay my em fake employees from the Canada Bank checking account. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna to go to payroll, employees, run payroll. It's now defaulting, oh my head's in the way. How do I move my head? Different screen, there. It's now defaulting, okay, to the savings account, which in this section of the payroll module listens to me when I change it. I'm gonna change this to ABC Bank, for example, okay? And let's uh, pay Johnny Boy in February now, just so it doesn't get mad at me. I don't know, that one, there it is. And let's pay him 75 hours, all right? And notice I changed that to ABC Bank. You're not gonna remember, guys. You're gonna forget, like, honestly, at least three out of every 10 times. 
mostly seven out of 10 times. Like you're a human, right? You're gonna forget to change it. And I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna go preview payroll, submit payroll and finish. And, and we can see that if we go to this pay checklist now for this year, run. So here's the one I just ran for in February. And we can see that it's from the ABC bank. What if, okay, what if I had meant to say checking in the drop down? I can't change it. I mean, let's edit, right? I can edit all sorts of stuff, but I can't change the bank that I paid it from. If I want this to say savings, or if I want to say this to say checkings, there's only one thing I can do, and that's delete it and run it again. Not a big deal uh, if um, I only have one fake employee with a fake business that I'm just playing around with, really. Um, but you probably have like five or 10 or 15 employees, right? Like you're not gonna wanna delete all of those and rerun your payroll just because you forgot to, to change. Wah. Slow, module slow, reports, no nope. payroll employees. Just because you forgot to change this little itty bitty drop down from savings to Canada Bank, which is what? you would be doing, right? You, if you use this second hack to chain, to make your source deduction payments come out of the right bank, that means every time you run payroll, you're going to have to remember to change that to whatever bank you actually pay them out of. Now, if it's the same bank account, then I've just solved all your problems, right? Yay. Um, but if your main problem is that it's different, which is probably why you're here, um, you're gonna forget you're human. I'm sorry, that's just gonna happen. And I don't suggest that way. I mean, you can, it's the reason. But the journal entry, I think, is the only way, if you have a different bank that you're paying your payroll source deductions out of, that you do your payroll out of, that journal entry is like a little ugly, not quite really what happened, but it gets it in correctly and it gets it in right. And all we can do is lobby QuickBooks payroll module people to fix this bug that's been around for like way too long, guys. Anyway, so I hope this helps you. If you um, want any little quick videos on any other little problems that you might be coming across, um, let me know. I'll pop one in the feed. Um, but other than that, thanks so much for coming by and watching. And I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful 2022. Bye now.